Hello and welcome to the introductory session of Supporting Neurodevelopmental Differences Awareness Level Training. My name is Rachel Geddes. I'm the Autism Practitioner for the Child Health and Disability Team covering Inverness, Nairn, Badenoch and Straths Bay. I'm also the coordinator for the Pines Neurodevelopmental Training Team based in Inverness but covering the whole of Highlands. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, this training, how it was developed and introduce you to the rest of the sessions um, that are also available in this video format. The aim of this training is to help you to develop your understanding of the neurodevelopmental differences in relation to six areas of development, which I'll tell you about in a moment. It's also to help you to develop an understanding of how these could present, both in your learning environment if you're a teacher or in your home if you are a parent. The final aim is to help you to understand how to apply this knowledge to meet the needs of the child you're teaching or the child that you're a parent of. For the teachers amongst you, you'll be aware of the Highland Practice Model, which is a staged approach to service delivery for children within your classroom. This training forms part of that staged approach in that we're starting to look at how we assess and target the needs of the children that you're teaching. As you can see in this diagram, there are lots of conditions that are described as being neurodiversity or a neurodevelopmental difference. Your child may have a diagnosis or they may go, be going through the diagnostic process. Or you might just be at the start of the journey where yourself or somebody within education is starting to think that something different is happening for your child. As you can see in all of these neat little boxes around this brain, there are lots of different things that class as neurodiversity. So that might be an autistic spectrum condition. It might be ADHD. It could be dyslexia. It could be OCD or anxiety. There are lots and lots of different conditions that are classed within the range of neurodiversity. As you will know, though, we can't fit children into little perfect round boxes. And what we generally see is a neurodevelopmental difference within a brain of a child where they're processing things quite differently. So what we would class as typical or average. In this training, we aren't going to focus on diagnosis because at the end of the day, we need to focus on individual children and what their needs are. And those needs are met within the six areas of neurodevelopmental difference. So the six areas of development that we're going to focus on, you might hear us call them the pieces of pie because that's how we chopped them up. So they are cognitive, communication, social, sensory, motor and emotional. Each of the six films is presented by a different professional with a specialism in that area. What you will see from the last slide when we talked about the different brain patterns of children is that no two children are the same. So you might be working with or have a child who's cognitive processing is really quite good. They're really quite bright, but they're really struggling with their motor development. You might be working with another child whose motor development really seems to be an issue for them, but that their communication system is working well. There are no two children or adults the same. So that's why we're thinking around this issue in individual children. We're not thinking about diagnosis. We're not thinking about children as a whole. We're trying to break this down for you so that you can relate it to your child or the child that you're working with in your classroom. So what you will see in each of the films is what we call the three P's. So we will all talk about the presentation. What are you observing in your classroom or in your home? The profile, why might this be happening? And the plan, how can I support this child? The films don't need to be watched in any particular order. However, I would advise that you watch communication first as that forms the basis of all of the other areas of development. 
We're not going to focus on diagnosis. We're just focusing on the needs of the individual children. So in each of the pieces of film, you will hear the presenters talking about the wheel grid. The wheel grid is a document that we've created in conjunction with these films that helps you to start to analyse the individual needs of each of the children in your classroom or obviously your own children if you are a parent. The first box on the document asks you about the presentation of the child. What are you seeing? What is going wrong for that child? What are they struggling with? So you would write that in the top box. You would then come to this diagram on the document and in this diagram you're starting to think about the profile. So we will give suggestions of the sorts of problems that might be occurring for that child. If you agree with the suggestion, you would pop it into one of these boxes. If the child isn't struggling with that thing, then you would just move on. Within the planning section of this document, you would start to write down some of the suggestions that we make as to what might help that child to overcome that struggle. So say, for instance, within communication, you have a child that really struggles to remember what's coming next. Within the planning, we might suggest that you use a visual timetable or a now or next board. So in the planning section, you would write the sorts of things that you think might be worth trying. The next part of the document asks you to think about, can I do this thing myself? Do I need to speak to somebody else? So say, for instance, if you're a teacher, you might need to talk to mum and dad or vice versa. Or it asks you, do I need to talk to another professional? So it might be that you've not had a lot of experience in visual timetables, but you have a colleague who has, or you have a speech and language therapist attached to your school. So that might be somebody that you could go to for support and resources. You don't have to watch all of these films at once. That would be quite a big ask. Each film is approximately 20 to 30 minutes. So we suggest that you break them down into sections. Maybe watch the ones that you think are the biggest struggles um, for the child you're working with first, and then start to get some information into this document. This document can then be shared with the other professionals and the parents of the child concerned so that you can start to formulate a plan together to work forward to support this child's individual needs. I really hope that you enjoy the films and that you find the process of analysing a child's needs really beneficial in your practice, but also really empowering for you as a parent to help your child to move forward. Best wishes and enjoy the films.